Hi, I'm Maggie, and this is Music Theory for Piano Technicians, Part 21, Compound Intervals. We've already learned that an octave comprises eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Any interval within that octave is a simple interval. Any interval outside the octave is a compound interval. I'll explain why it's called that in a minute. The simple part is that compound intervals simply continue the number process. So we just go to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, etc. And I went up to 22 for a reason because I'm going to be mentioning that again. They are called compound intervals because they combine an octave and a smaller interval. For example, from this C to this C is an octave. From this C to this E, we know that's a third. So that means it is also a third from this C to this E. That's a third. And we have just learned that from this C to this E is a tenth. Therefore, eight plus three equals ten. Ha ha, I couldn't resist the joke. So why does eight plus three equal ten? because we're not counting the note that is the end of one interval and the beginning of the next interval twice. So when we count an octave, we are counting our C from C to eight. We count the C key. And when we count our major third, we're recounting that key, one to three. So in the larger interval of a tenth, this C only gets counted once. It is this way for every compound interval. For example, you can have an octave and a fifth, but together they equal, there's our octave, 9, 10, 11, 12, a twelfth. An octave plus another octave is a fifteenth. On a side note, have you ever seen chords that have a letter name of the chord followed by a number, like a number six or nine if it's starting from C? That means you're adding that note to the chord but I'm not gonna talk about chords for a very long time. As a quick review of scales and where half steps are, whole steps and half steps, I'm gonna do a number from a root to 15. Here I have numbered root C to 15 notes above it, and I'm going to do the same thing with C sharp. If I start on C sharp and I number scale degrees, I have one, two, three is on a white key, Four is on a black key, five, six, seven white key, eight black key, nine, ten white key, eleven black key, twelve, thirteen, fourteen white key, fifteen black key. So basically everything is up one half step. If you know where things are in C, you know where things are in C sharp. I'd like to do this again, starting from G. So if G is one, then here's two, three, four, five, six, seven's my black key, and eight. Notice I started out a fifth above my root, so every single note following two, three, four is a fifth above the same scale degree. 
from C. If you write out a scale and write out a second scale that is a specific interval above the first scale, then every scale degree will be that interval from the parallel scale degree in the first scale. The term root and some scale degrees I would like you to remember outside of the octave are a tenth, twelfth, fifteenth, seventeenth, nineteenth, and twenty second, although you should be able to identify any interval from a root, some particular intervals of interest that we will be using or talking about more often above an octave are a tenth, twelfth, fifteenth, seventeenth, nineteenth, and twenty second. Most important in my video series will be the tenth and seventeenth. So make sure you know where those are starting from every single key. The next priority will be the 12th, but don't worry about that too much just yet. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, corrections, or requests, please comment below or let me know by emailing me at maggie at thebutlerschool.org. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.